Hello, my Nefertiti's, and hello to my kings out there. Today, we got in the clip news Keisha K. Or herself, and her uh, first stage name was Keisha DeJour. We about to find all this information out and more. We about to find out the reason why Rick Ross, baby mama, Tisha Amel, she actually uh, connecting the dots with some valuable T. He he. And we also found out the reason why allegedly uh, Plies went silent after a couple years because him and his brother was also robbed by Keisha K. Or. So let's get into this review and make sure you stay to the end. It's never been enough to be a video fix. shoots etc but nothing major she had just landed the drake and timbaland say something video as the main girl and that put a major spotlight on her of course that piqued my interest at that point got with my team and we flew her to tampa to shoot for my publication and her ass got some regular damn seats now the shoot went great she was very cool and had a dope personality I would go as far as to say she even had that star quality early on. Now she did have reservations about wearing revealing clothing at the time because she wasn't that snatch Keisha that y'all see today. So after the shoot, we had plans on having an after party event to celebrate the shoot and we went to a club in East Tampa. Now I went to her hotel and picked her up and I chauffeured her to the club. It was her and a few other girls. Um, I believe Delicious was in the vehicle with us as well, if I'm not mistaken. Now, along the way, I'm noticing her talking to a lot of dudes in the back seat on the phone. Now, I ain't talking about not no regular degular dudes, but pretty much the who's who in hip hop. And the conversations, I would say, were definitely intimate. Now, one of them that sticks out the most was she was on the phone with Drake. Like halfway to the club. Now, Drake was still pretty new at this time, so I wasn't really tripping like, wow, she really got Drake on the phone. I just shrugged it off. But on the call, they sounded like there was definitely into some type of romantic situation. Dudes, do you like, what's sexy to you? Me, I like, I like to watch a woman. I like that role playing. She can dress up maybe like a schoolgirl outfit. You know what I mean? Uh, some stockings, you know what I mean? Some nice heels. You know, just kind of just watch it, man. You know what I mean? Let her do her thing, whatever. So, that, I mean, that's what seduces me. Actually, it turns me on to the to the utmost to see that. You What's your I mean? favorite outfit? Um, uh, you know, if a woman were to dress like a uh, maybe like a teacher, 
or something like that. Like, you know, unbutton the cleavage, show a little bit. Exactly nice little like skirt. Oh my God. Up. Now, after she left Tampa, then she really started turning up with other magazines, got her body snatched, and started doing more revealing type shoots. Now, Plies and his big brother, Big Gates, a well-known drug dealer from Fort Myers, is the CEO of Big Gates Records and the one that Plies assigned to. Now, they met Keisha Kaior. Of course, she's from the area, beautiful chick, probably gave up that box to them, too. Decided they wanted to invest in whatever project she had going on. Now, they came up with a collaborative brand called Secret Kisses. A lipstick line that came in various colors. And the ass was always popping with beautiful chicks. They had Trina the Rapper on there, the whole nine. Now, guys, this is a lot of stuff you guys can pull up on Google yourself. So make sure you fact check everything in this video. Now, there is a court record of this whole case as well. This ain't clickbait. Everything, like I said, is on the internet. So Big Gates and Keisha decided to open up a joint business account for the lipstick and makeup line. Well, that proved to be a dangerous move because when a woman is scorned, there ain't nothing you can do about it. Now, Keisha didn't want no business partner. She didn't like having to split the profit coming in for the brand, even though Plies and his brother was the one putting up all the money and they had a plug to get it manufactured and distributed. So what did light skin KK do? She went behind their back, got directly in contact with their manufacturing plug. Now get this. This is where that cutthroat Florida shit come in at. She went into their joint bank account and wiped it out completely. God, now there was a pending lawsuit years ago from Big Gates suing Keisha, but I never really followed up with that story. I just knew she was hella foul for doing them dudes like that. She uses people, it's clear to see. She snatched secret kisses and turned it into KR Cosmetics with the same colors, same blueprint, same everything. But she did it with Gucci Mane money instead. But that's why they keep bragging about her flipping some M's for Gucci. This is the real story, y'all. Now, he already knew she backdoor Plies and his family for that bread. That's why you won't see a Plies and Gucci Man current song out anywhere. Everything they did was prior to Keisha robbing them. Now, everybody in South Florida, y'all, knows this story very well. So it's not far-fetched that she potentially smashed Rick Ross. She was hitting everybody with a name to get some money. Yo Gotti and Gucci Mane ain't even on speaking terms because of who? Keisha K. Or. Don't sleep. That's why she takes such good care of Gucci. He the only rapper that was dumb enough to turn a hoe into a housewife. Now, right after she done tricked with the whole industry, had an A-Rab cop her a Rolls Royce and some other things, she big finesse, not the little one. Now, recently, Rick Ross' baby mama, Tia, shook the internet when she revealed that Keisha was smashing Rick Ross, and even she knew that Keisha had that Rolls Royce, and she seen it pulling away from Ross's crib. Now, Keisha tried to clear up the rumor, but people are not stupid. We all know what type of time she on. Again, y'all, this video is all facts. I'm not trying to bring down anyone, but what she did to a lot of people is just crazy to me. And 2024 is the year of truth. So y'all, a lot of people are looking at Tia like, oh, she just mad, she making up stuff, and she's not making that up. And matter of fact, when she actually uh, mentioned that thing, it made, made me remember when I was working with her way back in the day and all the people she was dating and smashing on that you that would blow your mind. You wouldn't even suspect half of these rappers was dealing with this chick at the time. But Jay, hey, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, what it is. So I definitely want to get you guys' opinion on Keisha, man. Like, well, how do y'all feel about her smashing her way to the top and also turning Gucci Mane into a clone? Because this clearly is not the same Gucci Mane that was out way back in the day. I seen Gucci on several occasions at shows. He looked way different. This is not the same Gucci that we all remember. 
and also as far as Keisha with um, her other kids that she's hiding in Jamaica um, that part I'm not really sure about um, when I met her way back we didn't really get into the whole kid thing um, I didn't see her really talk to any kids uh, while she was in the hotel uh, chilling with my makeup artist and all them at the time man so um, I'm pretty sure she probably does have some kids that's hidden away that she don't want nobody to know about she want to act like you know the baby she got now is just the ones just you know that's the cute ones y'all like that 